Hey guys, it's Tim Freeborn here from FreebornTrainingSystems.com and real quick I wanted to bring you the second part in the uh, videos I'm making about how to grow bigger, more muscular, stronger, more defined arms. Um, in the first video um, I talked about uh, specifically uh, how to train the biceps um, and we also talked about how having muscular defined strong arms comes down to being lean and taking care of our nutrition but also making sure that we're um, attacking the particular body parts that we want to bring up and make visible and well developed through proper strength training uh, and uh, specifically strength training oriented towards um, or, or resistance training oriented towards uh, hypotrophy so we talked about mechanical tension so that muscle being under load either for a short time heavy weight or a longer time lighter weight. We talked about metabolic stress, so getting that pump, feeling the burn. Um, and we also talked about muscular damage, so making sure that we're really controlling the, the tempo of the rep, especially on the lowering portion. Um, so what I wanna talk about with you guys in this video is specifically how we attacked kind of the other big muscle in the upper arm, which is um, our tricep. So how, uh, the, part one, we talked about uh, exercises or a workout specifically targeted at our bicep. This one we're going to talk about uh, workout specifically targeted at our tricep. Again, um, people can bash the whole uh, pursuit of aesthetics or having uh, nice muscular arms, uh, but for most people it's a worthy goal. Um, it's something that they want to pursue, so it sh we should make uh, time for it in our training and we should uh, program for it uh, purposely and effectively um, and practically. Uh, so in this part two video, I'm going to talk to you guys about kind of my go-to three exercises and my go-to kind of tricep workout to help bring up um, the tricep, make it more defined, make it muscular, make it bigger, make it more visible um, when you get the body fat down. Um, and so my three exercises um, uh, I'm going to go to, I'm going to do the same thing I did in the, the first video. I'm going to put a uh, actual video of myself doing it um, and then kind of talk through kind of uh, some points to watch while you're performing that exercise. So uh, the first exercise I would go to is a barbell skull crusher or a line barbell tricep extension. A uh, very old school um, exercise. You'll lay on your back, grab a barbell. Uh, you can use an easy bar if you'd like, uh, which is the bent bar, that's fine. Um, but you'll keep your elbows um, in line with your shoulders, um, not in front of your shoulders, and then you'll lower that bar um, under control to where it just about touches your forehead, um, so your elbow will be about 90 degrees or a little bit past, and then you will extend the arm back up to full extension, squeeze the back of your arm, um, and then at that bottom, making sure you're keeping the tension down here, so you're not just relaxing and letting it fall on your, on your forehead or, or relax on your forehead, but keeping that tension coming out of the stretch, contracting back up, and then controlling it on the way down. Um, the second exercise I always have people go next to is the cable or the band kickback. I'm going to demonstrate it here uh, with the band because uh, I train out of my garage, um, so, but if you have access to a cable machine, it's the same motion, same setup, just adjust the cable till it's about hip height and that'll work. Um, but you'll bend over, back flat, um, you'll bring the elbow right next to the side of your body, you'll grab that band or cable and you'll press it straight back, squeezing the back of your arm um, and then lowering it back to the start position under control. Um, and that's key, making sure that you're controlling on the lowering portion of the lift. Um, and then making sure that you're not letting that uh, shoulder drop forward, but you're keeping it in line with the rest of your body. Um, as you go through this motion just to help protect the shoulder. Um, and then finally, the last exercise is just a very standard close grip push-up. Um, so not diamond push-up, but kind of hands just outside the shoulders or just underneath the shoulders, elbows right tucked at our sides, and just focusing on basically extending that arm more than anything. Almost a back, back to front motion with that elbow. Um, and we're essentially just gonna rep this out uh, for as many as we can get with perfect form. Um, and then rest. So the skull crusher we'll do before about four sets. The kickback we'll do for three sets. Um, the close grip push up will be due to failure for three sets. Um, and then for the skull crusher we'll do six to eight reps. And then for the cable um, or band kickback we'll do 10 to 12 reps. So we're covering all our rep ranges 
We're using heavier weights for a short amount of time, lighter weights for a longer amount of time. We're controlling the lowering portion. Um, and we are getting plenty of metabolic stress. So we're covering all three of those um, mechanisms for hypertrophy and we're training the tricep through a variety of angles. Um, so we're kind of covering all our bases. Um, I'd recommend giving this workout maybe a, like, like, just like with the bicep one, four weeks. Use it on your push day or your chest and shoulder and tricep day. Um, throw it in there at the end um, and give it three, four weeks. See how you feel, see how your triceps look, if you notice the difference. Um, those of you who do go after it and use it, please contact me. I'd like to know what, what you think, how it turned out for you, um, and whether or not it's helping you have more muscular, defined, stronger arms. Um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, send me an email at sfreeborn7 at gmail.com or uh, follow me on any of the social medias, just steven.freeborn. Um, and if you're liking these videos, you like my channel, uh, you like the information I'm, I'm providing, uh, please subscribe and share with friends. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, until next time, um, I hope you guys keep crushing it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.